Okay, guys, this is the Panera dumpster. I don't know what that is. Um, and this is also Panera and sometimes um, GameStop. But there's a chair in here that if, um, I mean, I don't know why there's a chair in here, but a little tiny pack of Oreos. That made it all worthwhile. Um, if this chair is in decent shape, and my new it's a rocking chair, I think. And my new choker. Did you get jewelry? Or is it a small person? Well, maybe it stretches. Does the black stretch? Is no. it stretchy? No. no. It's like okay. a, from the 70s. Okay. Can you lift this chair out? I don't know if I really want to touch it. We can, um, we could paint this chair and decorate it and make it adorable. This is so nice. With the oh. other dumpster chairs. Oh, broken Z's? Well, how about if we knock the rockers off the bottom and then just had it as a chair that's not a rocking chair? Couldn't you do that? Wouldn't it sit flush on the floor? It doesn't I don't know. Have... It might be a leaner. I don't know. It might be a leaner. That's a really good shape, though. Except for the the rocking oh, you parts. you just have to cut it right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. It's a good good project for you, Frugal Daddy. A strong chair. Yeah. Make sure the chair sits even, and we'll repaint it, and then we'll paint cute designs on it, and it'll be adorable and amazing, and it can sit out on our porch. It's going to be low, but that's okay. It's for the kids. It's for people with really shorter legs. Like, what I don't know. Doing? I don't know. You, you... Oh, oh, look. Ooh, packing bubbles. <gasps> what is that? Is that a tripod? Is that a tripod? You know what? We have a tripod. People suggest that we bring a tripod when we go uh, dumpster diving. And we actually have a tripod. We just don't bring it. We um, use it at home. That's a nice tripod. That's weird. That's weird. Amy? Giant. Amy. Did you just sniff the tripod? That's pretty cool. Happy Father's Day! It's a Father's Day present for Frugal Daddy. It's got the blue light. It's got the blue light. Do 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 I don't know what any of that means. Bluetooth. It's for a... Uh, you know I don't know what You means. can use this button to take pictures or okay. turn your video on. All right. Awesome. So you will go dumpster diving by yourself at night, as I've been begging you to do. Yeah, I think it's broken now. I just broke Stop it. By it. Accident Stop it. No, you didn't. All right. Let's take a peek in here. Um... Well, I don't I don't know what that is. You guys know what that is. But I'm not seeing well, I'm not seeing bags of fresh bagels is what I'm not seeing. I'm just seeing cardboard. That's a drag. That's but a still to figure out the difference between recycling. I know. I know they don't understand the difference between recycling and garbage. That, um, they that don't. inspired me to look deeper. I wouldn't normally look deeper into this. For some reason. Well, you are a deep diver. Dumpster divers do it deeper, as I keep saying. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What it's are you like poking? GameStop stuff or something. Do we really want that? Like games and... No, no, because yes. what's that, like, pillow thing? I don't know, just That's throw it in the... It's a mat. What kind of mat? Gymnastics mat? <gasps> I'm Daddy found donuts. I will give you a dollar. Oh, God, that's so gross. No. Why would somebody throw those away? Like, why would you buy glazed donuts and then throw them away? It's, it was six donuts, and they didn't eat any of them. They didn't eat any of them, Daddy. Can Dad. we use these as paintbrushes? No. Well, if you want, we can. This is the dumpster where you got bananas. This is the dumpster where you got... Look at these. Someone bought bananas. These are their groceries. And they threw them out? Like, what the frig frag, people? Your craziness yeah, is our kill, game. Oh, kill me if I bring home the... The kiwis. Kiwi. That the is Walmart so weird. Maybe they bought kiwis and poisoned them on purpose to, well, to mess to with dumpster out divers. Out I know, but who throws away a perfectly good brand good new package? Of, too, and I'm look, that looks like the bottom of a flip-flop. Yeah, there's another one right there. Look, ruling on the lettuce. I mean, it looks fine, probably, if we peel some leaves off. And we've got some new flip-flops. So this is the dumpster where daddy -O pulled out two golf bags full of golf clubs. What did you ever do with those? Have you been golfing, Frugal Daddy? No, but they are taking up space. Someone must have thrown away their stuff from their house. Yeah, but... Pop-tarts. Pop-tarts in the box. And another thing of bananas. That's kind of weird. 
I mean, we've come to dumpsters before near that. apartment buildings, and you can kind of tell someone was evicted because it's like an entire apartment's worth, you know, of clothing and furniture and and food, lots of food. I've seen that, but not just like, oh, well, it came time to move, and we didn't want to pack up the bananas and the Pop-Tarts for our drive to Ohio where we're moving to, so we're just going to throw them out. And like, I, it doesn't make sense. <gasps> Do you have a new little cave woman purse made of buffalo leather? $20. $20 for that yeah. little pouch. $20 sheepskin. Clean I know, but who wants a little sheepskin purse that tiny? It's got some kind of soap goo on it already. Yep, we'll wash it. Autumn and Eve love like little purses and bags and things. And, okay. It's like he's not even listening to me, but yet he's driving away. That's so, so not gentlemanly. Stop pulling forward. Let me get in. So we can drive across the parking lot to the pet store dumpster. All right, Daddy, let's see if we can get any kitten food or puppy food or something, something, something. Is there stuff in there? Holy schmoly. That's a lot. It's a lot of pet food, people. A lot of pet food. And we're going to get some of it. Okay, I think what would be good is if Frugal Daddy jumped in and then grabbed a bag and handed it to me, and then I will shuttle it to the car, which means I can't really necessarily film that. So just imagine that part in, in your first. head. You're going to go in, grab bags, hand them to me, and I'll shuttle them to the car. This is now the best day of our lives. Not the day he got the hand truck, but now this is the best day. They're not ripped. They're not ripped. Okay, this is the best day of our lives. Okay, here we go, folks. Now you imagine the rest. That's working well. He's lifting them up. I'm shuttling them to the car. We have canned food now. Oh, oh, oh. And pouches. Oh, drop them. Like, look at all this dog food. And a couple, a couple bags, smaller bags of cat food, but they didn't rip this open. Usually they rip it open and the dog food's everywhere. You have to scoop it. These aren't ripped open. And look, this bag's not too clean, but it's the pine pellets that we use for cat litter. Here he comes. Oh, did you mean, did you mean to jump on that? I almost went that way. Oh, all right. dumpster remember what it looked like before they did rip some of them open i mean oh oh and it rained and it's ugh, it's gross in there Ooh, what'd you get there you gonna eat that superfood sauce savory gravy topper with benefits oh like friends with benefits but it's savory gravy topper with benefits that's nice that has got to be the best pet food haul ever we've had some pretty amazing pet food hauls there's even pines i know litter i know even cat litter i know that's awesome Puppy food kitten food I know. I know. I know. It's amazing, people. Okay, Demstrinos, here we go with the free dog and cat food. And Frugal Daddy looked up the prices of some of these online, and we're talking like $60 bags of animal kibble. All right, let's take a quick look. We've got the Exquisite Cat Natural a Pine a Pellet Cat Litter, which is what we use. Super cool. To get some for free. We've got Canada Pet Food. You want to see what it looks like? All these bags were not ripped open. This Frugal Daddy ripped open by mistake. This was not ripped open by the pet store people, so that's our little tear. Anywho, we've got a puppy food, little boogie 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 face. Yes. That's 24 pounds. We've got this fellow. This is New Low Metal Series. I've never even heard of that. Something fancy. Oh, it's for weight management. We give that to the Dharma because she got a little weight issue. 
24 pounds. All right, we got another Canada here, grain free, boop, boop, boop. Ooh, keto for dogs. Farm grown goodness, doobity beep bop boop, down to earth price. Mm hmm, sure thing, I bet. And I, I guess there's chickens in there. What else? What else? Oh, some of these are upside down. This is the back of the bag, which is why it doesn't have the pounds on it. Okay, another Canada pure. Woof, woof. 24 pounds. Yum. Smells like salmon and barley out here. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Solid gold dancer is just for you. Here we have a potato free holistic food for puppies. Oh, yes, yes. Part of the Wolf Club, more of this Canada stuff. Here we have a five pound bag of the Simply Nourish puppy food. Then we've got the Whole Earth Farms. Oh, I guess that's cat food. Because there's a kitty cat on there. Another kitty cat food. Kind of looks like the same cat silhouette. Rachel Ray Nutrish. Three pounds. Who could only buy, I mean, I don't mean in terms of affording, like, oh, who could only afford a three-pound bag? But, I mean, who only needs a three-pound bag? I mean, I know not everybody in the world has, like, eight or nine cats. But even if I had just one cat, I, I don't think a three-pound bag would last that long. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to last that long. Oh, what else? What else? More Canada. And then we got your less active senior. <laughs> like me, I'm the less active senior. A dog of food. Chicken, turkey, lamb, doodly doot. Adult dog vegan. Pour chien. Pour le chien vegan. All right, 21 pounds. Adult dog vegan. Look at all the vegeroos. Holistic. Cool. And we've got this instinct, the raw brand. Be natural with added vitamins and minerals. And raw, ick, raw. Raw, raw. A chicken! More kitty cat food from the experts in nutrition. The bag's bent. She's really prettier than she looks here. Alright, what do we have? Everyday health, ages 1 to 7. Boodly doot, 7 pounds of chicken cat food. Okay, there's another one of these. And then we got a bunch of this. These are some big bags here. 21 pounder. Do 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 do. Pearl chien encore. Look, the proof is in the poop. Obviously. And then we've got two of these. All life stages. Doot, 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 doot. And that's a 44 pound bag. A lot of this Canada brand. This one, grain free, made with lamb. 40 pounds. Then we have these little poochie food treats. We've got the Little canned nummy num nums. And then we've got, oh, creamy bisque with tuna and coconut milk. Why, that sounds delightful. These look to be the same recipe. Then also we've got these mini meals for small breed dogs. So there you go uh, with all of that. What are you doing down there? How'd you get out here, you silly girl? Okay, so let's take a look at what we got out of the, I guess, Panera slash GameStop dumpster, though it didn't appear to be merchandise from either store. As you recall, it looked like somebody was moving or just, I don't know what, clearing out food, but there's 
bunch of bananas still in the bag from the grocery store. This relatively acceptable looking head of iceberg lettuce. A package of kiwis. We also got one of these the other day at Aldi, so that's a lot of kiwis. Um, and two of these off-brand Pop-Tart type Toaster pastry treats. This looks like a returned item since it has a receipt taped to it. Top fin. It looks like a filter cartridge for, uh, yeah, it says it right there, filter cartridge for a, like a fish tank filter, I guess. Then we got this tripod, which is right here. That's the tripod and a little carrying bag. Here's our cool rocking chair without the you know, rocker parts. It's so incredibly similar to a rocking chair we already have that we pulled out of the Ollie's dumpster, I think a year ago. So, but I, you know, it's, I mean, it's low, but it's fine as a chair. I don't care. We could always put the rocking bottom on again. And finally, and undeniably the cutest, we have an outdoor pillow with a cute whale on it. This was the cushion that was in the top of that blind bag that came out of the GameStop dumpster. Isn't it cute? Is she happy? Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you enjoyed the video and I appreciate you taking the time to watch. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you again soon. 